Okay, today I'll be showing you how to stream on any Intel GPU and have great specs as long as you're at home. I don't think this works with hotspots that well. Let me show you. The first thing you gotta do, I'm sorry, OBS Studio does not have the capabilities all the time. They want you to upgrade their drivers to like the latest drivers and some shit. But Streamlabs, for right now, has the best settings. Now let me show you what, how I did it. Give me a second, let me just fix your shit. Alright, so, first things first, you have to upload your, your driver's latest driver, right? This way it won't lag on you every two seconds. Number two, here's how you stream on 1080p. Well, you, alright. As you know, Intel works better on lower resolutions, like 720p. But, if you want to show off, you can only just have to stream on 1020p. That's a stream at like whatever resolution you want. So let me show you my settings. Uh, how you do this shit? Okay, so I'm going to show you my settings. How I'm streaming on Intel HD graphics. Okay? Now these are only for low end settings. Okay, so the first thing you need, you need to have your video input at 720p. Well, I think this is a little bit wrong. Maybe you both put on 980s by 720p, and I'll scale to 720p. So I'm supposed to put 1980 by 1020p. That's probably why it's like. Bugging out on me and shit. But this is supposed to be 1980 by 10, you know, 1080p. It's supposed to be 720 p That's probably why I have a little bit of a hard time. Now, for the advanced settings. For the advanced settings. I use QuickSync. So, uh, if you don't have QuickSync installed, there's a tutorial for that as well. You can only look up on the internet, like, how to install QuickSync. I think the only thing you're supposed to do is like enable multi monitor inside your BIOS and then QuickSync will be enabled. So once you enable QuickSync, use QuickSync as the encoder. I only have a 2500 bit rate because I was on 720p. Put this shit on very high, put this shit on baseline. Legacy, you can also put that shit on low as well. Keyframe, I think this is basically the same. And that's it. Recording. Oh, shit. Okay, um. <laughs> Recording is quick sync. Um. CBR is like 6,000 bit rate. You mentioned only put 2,500, but I put 6,000 because I have a big ass internet. But if you want people to actually see your video, you gotta put it on 6,000 bit rate. And well, you you can put it on like whatever be rate a little bit above twenty five thousand. Very fast baseline normal frames. Now remember to upgrade your graphics card to the latest graphics card in the last description below. And that's pretty much how I actually stream on the fastest settings. Now I know this sounds weird. But you would think that OBS OBS will actually have it correctly. Guess what? OBS does not have it correctly. I, I can show you. Every every time I put on OBS, right? And I put OBS Studio when I put settings. When, when, I, when I put quick sync, they'd be like, oh, you have to upgrade to your latest drivers. Look, look. It, it'd be like, upgrade to your latest drivers. But it works now. What the fuck? It works? But anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't actually work all the time. But, uh... Remember, 
Maybe, maybe I did something wrong. But anyway, most of the time it does not work. He had to use like Streamlabs for now until OBS Studio fucking upgraded that shit. Uh, it probably wouldn't be able to stream right now because, um, what's the problem with this shit? It probably not upgraded to like, they, they actually upgraded their graphics driver to like software. You know damn well the graphics driver does not go out to the 2024, 2024 for every graphics software. Also, they also have these new, newer uh, systems that has ultra Intel graphics cards. I haven't actually checked them out. They look pretty cool, but I don't think they're actually good for gaming. But you can actually make it good for gaming as long as you have enough RAM. I have, I have like fucking 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm a big bear meme. And if this is actually able to go to 64 gigabytes, I'm actually going to do it. That, I'll be the first one to do it. But... Yeah, if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. I uh, uh, hope I see you in another video. If you guys have problems with OBS Studio, you always put quick sync. If you use the hotspot, it may not actually work correctly. I use the hotspot every time I stream. So, so sometimes it's not actually the best settings. Because you're using it in the hotspot. Sometimes you have to put the, the video bit rate at like 2,500 as well. If you're using a hotspot. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.